Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be working on a very common problem. It's a vehicle that doesn't start. So we're gonna troubleshoot it, figure out what's going on, get this thing running well. In the meantime, remember to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell so you get more videos. Okay, here we are in the engine bay. The very first thing that I see that I don't like is this cord. Uh, and it has been installed as a battery restraint, so whoever put this in has been lassoing it around the battery, holds it in place. But if you remember from our earlier intro to the vehicle video, we actually found this thing loose like this, and the battery was slid over and laying against the engine. Uh, since then, I have purchased the battery clamp. So we'll get that installed and get this thing safe and held in place like it should be. But if you look at the two cables that are installed, this positive one is very worn. There's something jammed into here. Uh, it just needs to be replaced and cleaned up. A lot of this tape is covering up frayed wires. And it also goes for the other side, our negative side. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of cable showing through. There's a lot of old kinks. Everything's just old. So for 20 bucks, uh, I bought two new cables that I can replace these guys with and I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's get this cord removed first thing. Starting with the negative side first, then the positive will remove both terminals of the battery. Now we'll remove the battery. Next I want to replace one of the wires at a time so I don't get these guys mixed up. Um, I'm going to take this negative cable and trace it to its source and to do that I'm going to need to open up all this wire loom and actually follow this wire to the mounting point so we can get it changed out. I'm just peeling it back and removing it, exposing all these wires. It's a good idea to take pictures at this point if you guys are trying to remember where everything went. Um, I have this video to do that for me, but we'll keep tracing it down into the engine and figure out where it lands. At this point, I am working on removing both of the plates underneath of the vehicle. These will have to be removed on some vehicles in order to gain access to uh, both of the battery cables from below. Here is the second plate. And then I'm also installing a jack to get more clearance underneath the car so I can crawl under it and access everything that I need to. Right here by our oil filter is where our grounding bolt is mounted to the engine block. So we'll take that guy off. The grounding wire is loose from the bottom, so we can actually just grab this and pull it up through. Here it is. And we'll take off this final grounding bolt right here, and the wire will come out, and we can replace it with a brand new one. So with the old wire out, we want to take the new one and fish it down into the engine bay. We want to set it where it's going to go when the battery is in place. It will go down and start at the bottom, making our connection at the actual engine block with the negative terminal first. Before making the new connection, be sure to clean off any areas with engine degreaser or brake cleaner. Here are the two wires compared so you can tell the difference between the old and the new one, how much 
they needed to be replaced. This old one is just cracked and nasty and there is a big hole with wires exposed back here. So happy I'm changing these out. I think this, you know, will definitely help the system uh, electrically run better. So what we'll do is jump over to the positive terminal and get that guy changed out. With the ground wire firmly in place, we'll want to trace out the positive wire, that guy right there, all the way to the starter. So if I follow that line, go all the way across in front of the motor, runs in this white channel and eventually lands right there on the starter. So once I remove this cover, it'll expose that final bolt and we can remove it and take this wire out and replace it with the new one. With everything loose, we can pull the positive cable out from underneath of the engine. Here's the old cable versus the new. Much, much nicer, a lot cleaner, a lot less grease and dirt and grime. Definitely needed to be replaced. This one is a good change today uh, for 20 bucks, totally worth it. And here I'm cleaning off all the parts I removed from the engine. Um, I always use a brake fluid cleaner just so I make sure all the parts that go back are nice and clean. Like we did before, we'll take our positive wire and fish it down into the engine so we can feed it through over to the starter. I'll leave that there for right now. Your wire sets should have come with markers so you can tell which one's a positive and which one's the negative. We'll put these guys on here so that nothing gets mixed up. And here I'm putting on the negative identification sticker. So the negative side goes to the minus symbol on your battery. Here is the completed product with the brand new cables in place. Everything looks awesome. Uh, very happy with how this turned out. Most of all, I'm happy with how safe this is. I don't know if you guys remember early on in this video, but this battery could fall over into the engine. It had twine around it. What we'll do to make it extra safe though is put on the final touch and that is the battery hold down strap. Here I'm installing the battery hold down and the J bolt goes in first so on your right that is a J bolt and it typically hooks into the sheet metal in your engine bay. There's a little knockout you can see it right there in the picture uh, where it installs and you tighten it down first on that side and then you move over to the front end of your vehicle. And the other one is usually a threaded connection, so it threads right into the front there. And both tighten down to hold the battery in place and keep it safe from moving. And the final portion of this installation is the secondary ground wire. The old one's on top. You can see it's pretty old and nasty and cracked and frayed. And the new one um, I put together, it's just out of a 10 gauge ground wire with two automotive clamps and right here I'm installing it on the negative terminal of the battery so again it serves as a secondary ground wire so we're putting it on the ground side of the battery this one takes a little while to thread in it's a brand new connection the wire is really stiff this area was tight so it took a little while to get this thing completely cranked into place Okay, and with that in place, second portion of this wire screws right to the frame inside of the engine bay, and that will complete that secondary ground once I have that all the way screwed into the frame and tightened down. Man, it looks so much better. This thing cleaned up really, really nice. I'm liking all the green. All right, guys, this is looking pretty good so far. 
Be sure to catch the next video where we troubleshoot this battery and dive deeper into the problems that the system is having. In the meantime, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.